Hi guys, Steve Chang from Team Lord In Tournament Angler. Just want to spend a couple of minutes with you today just to show you a few knots that, uh, that I've been using um, in the tournament uh, that I fish for Australian bass. I guess um, the reason why I want to show you a few knots is over the years I've, uh, I've realised that you can't have inferior knots when you're out there on the tournament scene. I've lost way too many big fish. I've lost way too many uh, high quality lures like the Seville Flat Shad and, uh, and Finesse Spinner Baits. So I um, just want to take you through um, some of the knots that I'm, I'm using now. I guess four or five years ago I was using this sort of stuff. It's the Platypus uh, Pretest um, Mono Line. It's high quality line, um, but it's got a lot of stretch. And uh, in a tournament you don't want a lot of stretch. Um, because you want to feel every single bite and you want to be able to penetrate the hooks on every single every single fish. So the guys out of Platypus have come up with uh, a really high quality pre-test braid. Um, this is the, the new braid on the market by, by Platypus. Um, very thin diameter, no stretch or very limited stretch at all with, uh, with this quality uh, fishing line. Um, comes in a, a variety of sizes. Um, but for the bass and the tournaments that I do, six six kilo and, and eight kilo pretest braid, that is generally about the same diameter as what other braid manufacturers are calling. Um, you know, six kilo, they'd be calling that something around four pound. All right, same diameter, you're getting six kilo of line. Really important when you are fishing tournaments to have a good quality line, and, and certainly the pretest braid is that. Um, but like all braids, like all braids out there on the market, you get a little bit of slippage, okay? And that's the reason why most of your leader, leader knots break. Is you get a little bit of slippage, and the line pulls through, and that's the end of the fish, and you're losing those uh, high quality lures. Uh, so today I wanted to show you um, one knot that I'm using. And uh, I guess if we take this um, green line, we'll say this is our pretest braid, just for the purposes of this demonstration, so that you can see it on the video. Um, and this white line here, let's just call that our mono or our fluorocarbon, really is a very, very simple knot to tie, um, but it does have a twist on the original connect knot. Simply start it with one, two loops. Pull it through until you form a figure eight. So on there now you can see we've got a figure eight. Really, really simple from here. All you're going to do is take your braid, put it through the eye of the mono or fluorocarbon, pull it through, put it back through the second eye. Oh, start that again. Put it back through the second eye. Pull it through. All right, leave the loops on the figure eight there. Grab hold of your line, your main line and your leader line and hold them together. Have a bit of tag end off the, off the back and bring the tag end back over the top of both lines. Okay, thread it through somewhere between four and eight times depending on the, the, um, the leader that you're using. The heavier the leader, the fewer twists that you need to put in it. I generally find for somewhere around about an eight pound leader, you only need to have about four, maybe six, um, six twists. If you're using a, a slightly smaller leader, go with a few extra twists on it. If you're using a heavy leader, and this is a great knot up to about 40 pound, um, if you're using 40 pounds, don't do any more than four, four twists. Okay. Once you've got your four, six or eight twists in there, depending on the size of the leader you're using, just pull that up snug. So you can see that the, uh, you can see that the, the knot forms quite nicely. From there, and that, that would be the, the normal finish to that knot, you just pull it up tight and clip off the tag ends. I don't like to do that because you still get a little bit of slippage with this knot. What I do like to do from here is to take the tag end and flip it back around the mono or the fluorocarbon three, maybe four times, um, three's plenty. 
What it actually does is gives you three loops along the fluorocarbon or the mono um, as a buffer because when you pull that knot up to the to the figure eight, you'll actually have these loops cushioning on that figure eight and preventing this knot from cutting into this mono or fluorocarbon. That's the second reason why you get a lot of uh, leader knot busts off or break offs is because the um, the braid, being a very strong line, cuts into the nylon or fluorocarbon, which tends to be a very soft line. So now that you've done that, you've actually finished your knot. All you want to do from here is pull the figure eight tight and pull the leader knot down to meet that figure eight. And once you've done that, pull it very tight, stress test it, and you now have a very strong, very competent leader knot. You've got three extra loops, four extra loops, whatever, as a buffer. You're not going to get um, you know, the, the, the line cutting through. Um, and you've actually got three loops, um, which act as a, two things, act as a buffer and act as a little bit of extra tag end. So when you do cut it, or you do cut it you know, very close, you're not going to worry about any of that slippage. Uh, so that there is, I guess it's an improved connect knot, um, and what, what I've actually found using this particular knot out on the tournaments, uh, I haven't lost a fish yet, haven't been busted off using this knot um, in probably the last 12 months of using it. Um, now that is something to say when you're out on that tournament scene, you don't want to have inferior knots. Um, thanks.